I've always been a big believer that a campus should manifest physically the values that you hold. So when people drive or walk onto campus, they really see what we're about. Um, so when people walk into the commons, they see the diversity center, they see the food pantry, they see the solar panels, okay? Um, what else? Oh, they see the art gallery. These are the things that matter to us, that, are, that we wanna celebrate our students and all their richness and all their diversity. Um, I think that recently we've been focused in, the, in light of the murder of George Floyd on, rightly focused on racial diversity. Um, the violence against Asian Americans, but I think the you know we always need to keep our eyes on the larger, the larger vision of diversity, that larger umbrella, uh, and that's what I think that's what Pride Month is about. Um, I saw a TikTok. I should let you go. I'm a little obsessed with TikTok these days. Um, I saw a TikTok of a young man talking about. He goes, I don't get what the big deal about Pride Month is, you know, and it's about remembering history. I think you know it's about sort of knowing those important dates in uh, lesbian and gay history that are important as a part of our culture to understand where we got to, you know, to, non to know that, you know, what happened at Stonewall allows people now to hold hands in public, to get married, um, to sort of know about Harvey Milk, to know about that, uh, the first gay and lesbian march on Washington in 1979, um, to know about, you know, when gay marriage became, became, uh, became legal. You know, I never thought that I would see that in my lifetime, you know, but when I talk to my kids, they have such a healthier notion of diversity than I think we've had growing up. So these, these, aren't, these aren't big deals to them, you know, transgender bathrooms aren't a big deal to this generation. And this is why, this is, this, this is why we want to celebrate Pride Month and why we want to sort of remember our history to see where we were and where we are today. Um, in my memo last month, I talked about how I was making this connection between um, the pandemic and the AIDS pandemic that I remember from the 1980s. Um, it, was a, it was a sort of scary and fearful time, but it was also sort of a wonderfully invigorating time. I remember when I was a freshman at the University of Virginia, my first literature class I took, I read a book called Ruby Fruit Jungle. Do you know this book? Oh, yeah. Okay, okay. Well, what's, her, what's the uh, author? Oh, God. Rita Mae Brown is the author. <laughs> and it was my first exposure to a really candid portrayal of lesbian life. And it was a really, when I look back, you know, uh, you all know I'm a literature guy. So that, but that was really an important moment for me to begin to understand my own um, journey about acceptance and diversity. Um, so it's been, um, you know, it's been important for us and I, I really am so proud to work at a college in which, number one, this incredible turnout for this small but significant event. Um, and I would like to see this become a annual part of what we do because I think it's important. So um, before I turn it over to Christine, being a literature guy, I did want to read you a short poem that I found that I think captures the, um, uh, the positive feeling of the day. Uh, and it's called Survival Guide by Joy Ladin. No matter how old you are, it helps to be young when you're coming to life. To be unfinished, a mysterious statement, a journey from star to star. So break out a box of Crayolas and draw your family looking uncomfortably away from the you you've exchanged for, for the mannequin they named. You should help clean up, but you're so busy being afraid. To love or not, you're missing the fun of clothing yourself in the embarrassment of life. Frost your lids with midnight. Lid your heart with frost. Rub them all over, the hormones that regulate the production of love from karmic garbage dumps. Turn yourself into the real you you can only discover by being other. Voila, you're free. Learn to love the awkward silence you are going to be.